So Tony Yayo recalls a moment that he knew Eminem was a real one. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So Tony Yayo sat down with Drink Champs this past weekend, where he recalled the moment that he knew M was a real one. Yayo's story took place in the early thousands at 50 Cent's In The Club video shoot in Los Angeles, where he said Eminem backed down Suge Knight, who had pulled up to the set with an army of Mexican gangsters. He remembered how chaos erupted when the infamous Death Row Records co-founder initially arrived. This is why I always respected Eminem, 50, and niggas that was with us. <coughs> so Suge came, he had some Mexican niggas. Now we from New York. You ain't never seen a nigga with a tattoo on his forehead. One uh. 18th Street crew. I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga got a tattoo on his face, homie. That's the first time, like, before Lil Wayne and all that. Yeah. That's the first time I seen a nigga with, like, tattoo on his eyes. Mexican niggas, 18th Street niggas. Uh. So niggas just shook, just got the cigar. He just liked that bitch. He just... He's like, he's, a, he's like a pressure guy. Uh. That's why he got into the shit he got into lately, because he's like a pull up, light a cigar, and you, you seeing niggas with tattoos on their face, but we like, damn, what we got to lose? We, if we don't pop now, we, we going back to the hood. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, back to the hood. Uh, so it's like, fight these Mexican niggas, Mexican blood niggas, killer niggas. Niggas got the shit on their forehead, eyes. One eighteenth, or go back home to the crib. Might as well go all out, fight right here. <laughs> We around Dr. Dre, so it's like, yo, we gotta do what we gotta so do. What happened? He lights the cigar, and then he what just lights the cigar, and it's the shit about Shook. He lights the cigar, and he trying to see what you gonna do. So Eminem, Fifty, everybody outside, nigga, light the cigar. I was bugging because I seen this is when I knew Eminem was real. He's like, I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, this is when I knew I'm like, damn, Eminem is a real nigga. These niggas, be 50 niggas outside, what's up? And then the nigga Shug just walked away. The Mexican niggas look kind of confused, like they didn't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, but niggas came outside. Eminem came outside 100%. Wow. Oh, what did I miss? Okay. <laughs> and Eminem was like, yo, I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> Give a fuck, man. Because you remember, proof, remember, it's, it's documented. Proof told Suge, yo, you killed Tupac in the middle of a party. Remember, them Detroit niggas are kind of crazy, bro. Uh, them seven, eight yeah. mile niggas, them yeah. niggas always been crazy. Right. Rest in peace to Proof. Yeah, rest But Proof told that nigga Suge. In a party. Proof told Suge in a party, nigga, you killed Tupac, nigga. <laughs> You could ask anybody, nigga. Proof was a wild boy. Rest in peace to Proof. Former G-Unit rapper Bangum Smurf previously spoke about the tense exchange on Instagram Live last year where he added more color to the story by claiming Eminem had pulled on a bulletproof vest before confronting Suge. I ran inside first because I'm getting a haircut and shit at the time. I'm yeah. all the way back far in the trail again a haircut and shit. So Sean Money XL called me like, yo, Suge on the set. Lovely. I'm getting a haircut. I ain't hand right. We smoking Cali blouse, so I'm super hot. I hung up on yeah. him because I think he telling me rush back to the set like they ready to yeah. shoot. My phone ring again. Sean Money XL like, yo, Shook Knight is on the set. I said, Shook Knight on set? So I threw the cape off and shit. We all running and shit because we had to run a long run and shit. We had to run because it's a big ass L.A. studio. You yeah. see Ace. Like Ace, Ace, Ace seen Shook first too. He like, oh shit, shoot next. So I wind up seeing him. I'm looking at him like, he, cause I'm starstruck at the time too, cause you know, shook. This is my first time seeing yeah, shook. So I'm a little starstruck. I'm a little starstruck. So I'm like, oh shit, shook. I had to shake that shit off though. Like, oh shit, I ran past him. Like, I'm about to kill you, nigga. So I ran inside. Like, yo, shoot me, yo, shook outside. What you want me to do? Blow his head off? Because my Connecticut niggas was there too. My nigga Dream. Shout out to my nigga Dream. He do um security for Fab right now. So if I'm lying, y'all yeah. can have his dream, first family, and my nigga, uh, Big Vic. So I run to the side like, yo, Vic, what's up? This nigga shook outside. What you want me to do? Blow his head off? Because I already know if I blow Shook head off, I'm playing like I was scared for my life. Because remember, Shook had that image already. So I know if I killed him, I would have been like five years and come home. That's nothing in there. I would have been playing like I was scared for my life. This Shook night. I'm like, yo, Fifth, you want me to blow this nigga head off? He like, nah, 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 started laughing. He said, just hold it down. So I picked up a big two by four, about to run outside. He like, nah, nigga, put that shit down. Long story short, I go back outside. You know, I get hype, I'm a hyper nigga. So I'm like, yo, yeah. sure, what's poppin'? 
He blowing on a cigar and shit. Took like three pulls, blew that shit in the air, dropped the cigar on the floor, then stepped on it. Them little Mexican niggas scared. They see all these New York goons, we throwing shit up like what's popping. They don't even know, like, we ready. Oh, yeah, Eminem, Eminem came back with the vest. Yeah, Eminem was outside with it. Shout out to Eminem. Dre wasn't outside, 50 wasn't outside. But Eminem was outside. <laughs> I guess they had to protect their breadwinner. Eminem put the vest on and ran back outside with us, man. Shout out to Eminem. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.